Hello and welcome back to Whispers of a Machine. Last time we discovered another dead person brutally murdered in a uh, recycling machine. And we found out pretty quickly that it was not an accident. And we also uh, found out that the school teacher of this city might be the person we are looking for, the mysterious woman. So um, here we are in the school. Maybe we can find out something and continue our investigation uh, successfully. Let's look at the pot of plants. I think the children grew these themselves. That's good. Gives them some practical skills. I don't need to rummage through that. Drawings of different plants and trees with close-ups of their nuts, leaves, and seeds. Stuff. Various books and office supplies. Nothing out of the ordinary, but I doubt Katarina would hide anything in here. Too exposed. True. Plenty of outdoor activities planned for the children. Pictures of teachers and staff decorate the wall. Some are from way back when the school was founded. No names anywhere, though. Hmm. There are a number of women here who could be Katarina, but it's hard to be sure without something specific to go on. I doubt we can okay. use this. Let's see if I can find any similarities okay. between any of these so women that does and the work. picture I have. I doubt that. First doubt that it worked, but... Oh, right here. Same brass necklace. This has got to be her. Okay. All right. I took the picture. Perhaps someone will recognize her. A photo of Katarina, dated a few months back. We... Enhanced vision on I don't see that? anything out of the ordinary. Okay. Uh, we see Looks right? disconnected. Probably not worth the energy. Looks like a few kids left some of their clothes here. Let's go to the classroom. Empty. Guess there are no classes today. Hmm. Interesting. But we have now. We now have the photos, so that will help. Oh, oh. Before I go, let's quickly scan. Would it make sense to get her bio? Halt's bio, maybe. No, Leonard. Also, no. Late shape. Okay. Well, worth checking out. So I think what I will do next, I will go back to Mimir Road and check if something changed in the apartment, which seemed to be her apartment. Okay, the janitor is not there. Is this place not secured by... Oh, the red light is on again. There's that red light again. Something must be wrong. Okay, let's see. Uh... What was it? Chamber... Status. Oh, the tank is nearly out of nutrients. I should keep an eye out for a replacement canister. Okay. So we need a nutrient canister. Uh... Um, 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 I wanted to check something. I need to find a replacement canister for the womb tank in the apartment. Okay, I'm a little bit confused that nobody is watching 
this apartment. But I guess. Guess we don't have to watch the apartments. Um, let's go back to town square and uh, maybe ask around with a picture. I don't need to know her opinion on that. Wouldn't it be good to ask anyone if someone knows the person? Okay, nothing here. Hello again, Gabriel. Hey there. Can I be of assistance? Um... So, it looks like Leonard's accident was a murder after all. Seems so, yeah. We have to catch this psycho before he strikes again. Agreed. I'm looking for a nutrient canister. Know where I can get my hands on one of those? No idea. But didn't Maya have some kind of machine in her apartment for that sort of thing? Oh yeah, you're right. All right. That is a good, good advice. All um, right, I'm off. Good luck out there. You also found Leonard's key. It's the key I found in the recycling center. Likely belonged to Leonard. Yeah. Do you recognize this woman? Sure, that's Melinda. She's, uh... She's what? She's just kind of cute is all. Uh-huh. <laughs> I found this among Leonard's remains. Ah, uh, probably his key then. Unless the killer dropped it in there. In any case, I don't know what it opens. Hmm. Okay. Have a look at this. It's the weapon used to kill Carl and Maya. Looks generic. We have hundreds of knives like that in town. Any prints or DNA on it? Nope. Totally clean. Damn. Hopefully, it could still be helpful in some way. Okay. Let's talk to Anderson. I had a few questions, Commissary. By all means. I learned that Leonard's death wasn't an accident. He was placed in that machine after his death. I suspected as much. Any leads on his killer? Some. I found the weapon that killed Carl and Maya in the recycling center, but it's clean. Hmm. So the murderer must have stashed it there after disposing of Leonard. Probably. It was placed in the metal recycler, so maybe the killer meant for it to get smelted down and destroyed. Sounds like a plausible theory. I'm looking for a nutrient canister. No one can get my hands on one of those. A nutrient what? Never mind. Okay, he has no idea. Do you know who Katarina Berg is, the school teacher? She also calls herself Melinda. Sorry, I'm bad with names. Now we will show him the picture in a second. What do you think of Walter, the robot maker? He may be a little strange, that man, but he has a heart of gold. Nordson wouldn't be the same without him. Did you know Leonard Dahl? Not at all. I only first learned his name this morning. Okay. That's all I needed. Very well. Commissary? Yes. Do you yes. recognize this woman? That's the young teacher, isn't it? Yes. I found the picture in the school. I see. I don't know much else about her. I don't think I need to look her up. I don't think I need to look him up. Just checking I don't think I need if there's to look anything. Him up. I don't need to look that up. I don't need to look that up. Okay, didn't think so, but I mean, it was definitely worth crossing those off the list. So I guess uh, now I will go to Maya's 
apartments and she had all kinds of weird robots there oh and now the museum is open mm. hi there i see that there's been some progress with the fallen power line yep feel free to head in now great i'll do that later looks like she's trying to fix something in this power box can i look at what I she's fixing i don't see anything out of the ordinary oh. Nice little garden. Surprised it gets enough sun here. Can she tell me something? I don't think she'd be interested in that. Okay. So before I go into the museum, let's go upstairs again. I have no clue what this thing does, but it looks like it could have something to do with processing samples. Some kind of airtight container. It's labeled nutrients. Can't we open it? I don't think extra strength helps there. So, how do I get the nutrients? Some kind of airtight container. It's labeled nutrients. It's a sketch of a museum exhibition of some kind. It's titled Path of the Pilgrim. A trophy in the shape of a robotic arm. Oh. Doesn't appear to have power. Just as well. I wouldn't know how to make heads or tails of it anyway. So, hmm. But it also doesn't tell me... I don't see how those things work together. What to do with it. Or how I would be able to open Some it. kind of airtight container. It's labeled nutrients. I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Let's, let's do a quick check for Leonard's DNA since we're here. Anything else we checked? Okay. Hmm. Interesting. So we have a container here, but nothing new. But let's enter the museum. Maybe we'll find something there. Okay. Wow, this thing must have been fearsome back in the day. This facility has been deemed compliant with the third decree, 12th Amendment, on November 4th, 79 AR. Okay. No idea what this is. Must have been some kind of local thing. I remember reading about some military experiment gone haywire in these parts. Maybe this is it. That was weird, though. Hmm. Probably have to do something with that laser, right? Looks like this is modeled from how the world looked pre-collapse. There's no crack caused by the hyperloop failure, and the crater field is nowhere to be seen. I'm pretty sure these were flown autonomously, and that some famous world leader got killed by hackers who took control of her vehicle. A terrorist group claimed responsibility, and there was a bloody civil war. Okay. A regeneration pod. Kept people healthy and energetic. The human wave was a loose affiliation of political and religious movements with the supreme goal of eradicating AI. It is widely considered to be the largest single cause of the collapse. Post-collapse, the movement continued its activities to some extent up to 4AR, but gradually lost its ability to maintain any larger operations due to the extensive deglobalization. Over time, the subgroups of the human wave splintered back into their original factions, some having accomplished their goals ceased to exist completely. 
others like the Church of Epos, Earth Preservation Orthodox Society, were formed to find a new place in a post-collapse world. Interesting. It's hard to think that most people at several of these little bit of a history lessons. The collapse occurred on what we now refer to as Year Zero AR, Anno Reducto, Year of the Collapse. Okay. During this time, AI was involved intimately in every part of our lives. The typical family could not be sustained without it for more than a few weeks. Oh, wow. A coalition of anti-technology, anti-globalist, and religious movements, referred to as the Human Wave, reached a critical mass due to a series of AI incidents across the globe. A growing fear of the singularity, mainly proposed by Voice for Human Progress, VFHP, was a contributing factor, as were proven hardware faults in widespread robotics across the globe. On June 2nd, the third decree UN resolution was passed, declaring that all AI was scheduled to be discontinued over a course of 10 years. An observant reader may notice that this definition is different from the third decree we live by today, wherein CPUs are completely outlawed. This is because the third decree has been amended 12 times. However, the phasing out period for AI did not proceed as planned, and we now enter an era in which there are large holes in our historical records. Okay. But we do know that there was a massive worldwide blackout rendering most computer chips and processors in the world unusable. Contemporary scholars have theorized about what exactly caused this sudden change. If it was a deliberate large-scale attack, an unintended consequence of the ongoing shutdowns, or if there could be natural causes, such as solar flares. The evidence is scarce, and the lack of global communication and infrastructure, not to mention the struggle for daily survival, has made truth-seeking in this matter extraordinarily difficult. Regardless, the end result was clear. From that day, the old world was no more. In the dark, we took our first stumbling steps as truly free humans, surrounded by our mountains of dead machines. Interesting. That is very, very interesting. It shows various star constellations. Apparently the ones we planned to explore with some incredible new rocket engine that they were about to finish when the collapse happened. Okay, is there anything else here? Doesn't seem that way. But this laser kind of... Maybe it points I don't to... see anything out of the ordinary. Mm, can we... Let's smart scan this place. what this is uh, it is kind of weird that it's pointing there but maybe it's just coincidence but i feel like we may have to use that at some point also let me know in the comments down below what you thought about this little history lesson and uh, what you uh, think happened and how that all comes together and what your thoughts on it are but very much like to hear your thoughts on it obviously no spoilers about things that may be revealed in the future but um at least up until now and specifically about the text that we heard today i would like to hear your views on so not much here no need to go back in there okay Huh. Let's continue though. Maybe go to the shopping district. Maybe we can find nutrients there. Also, maybe the poet is back. No. Let's go to Valto. Hi. 
Hi there, Volter. Morning, miss. How was your first night in town? Yeah, have a nice night's sleep? Well, I sure didn't. This numbnut forgot to unplug me, so I had to listen to his snoring for nine hours. I protest, Nissa. I hardly ever sleep for more than seven. Oh, well, that makes it much less like torture. <laughs> I slept okay. The bed was a bit too soft for my taste, but I'll live. Glad to hear it. So, what can I do for you today? Uh... I guess you heard what happened in the recycling center. Yeah, I don't know much about it, but man, people dropping dead left and right like this? It's getting real scary out there. Hey, Walter, do you happen to have any containers for liquid nutrients? Oh, I'm fresh out of those. Sold my last one to Maya Strand. Said she was working on a processing unit for a high-energy liquid food solution. Like people actually want to eat goo. All right. Thanks anyway. Huh. But we checked that one out. Do you know where I can find the school teacher, Melinda? I'm not sure who that is. What does she look like? Here, I found a good photo. Oh, her. I sometimes spot her off the beaten path, actually. You do? Where? By the junk heap. I don't oh. know what business she's got there, but I notice her sometimes when I collect parts. She thinks nobody sees her, all sneaky and quick. But I've got keen eyes. Perfect. I Thanks see. Lot, that helps. Did you know Leonard Dahl? A little. He came by every now and then, buying things for the recycling center. We've been talking about automating some of the work there. Yeah? Anything out of the ordinary about him? I wouldn't say so. He was a quiet, nice guy. A real shame what happened to him. Hmm. Okay. I'm off. See you later. Take care. Bye-bye, police lady. Bye-bye, Nissa. So, we now know that she sometimes is at the junk heap, and we were there before, but at that point, there was no reason for us to explore it further. I do want to check the nutrient canister at her place again, though. Since now, both Gabriel and Walter refer to it, but we can't do anything Some with kind it. of airtight container. That's so weird. Hmm. Maybe we need something later. Could be. But now the question is, how do I get to the junk heap? This way. Okay, to mall to junk heap. There we go. Okay, and there we have two people, but this hey, is where we you wanna go do something? I'm tired. Well, I'll let's just, just do that. Out. You wouldn't be tired if you ate breakfast. What are you? My dad? I feel sick in the morning. Shut up. Whatever. Okay, this is where we leave it off for today and continue next time. Thank you all for watching uh, Whispers of a Machine. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Maybe share it with other people who might be interested in it. And then I will be back with more Whispers of a Machine Ellie, tomorrow. Until then, have a great time. Not really.